if this song don't succeed, y'all going back in the basement. And that's on period. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, mm -hmm. today we will do, or we will be doing and get ready with me. K-pop tea. I'm sorry, I need to fix this. I did a slick back hairstyle yesterday. It's okay. So I have a list of topics I want to talk about. Look y'all, I got a new phone. All the makeup products I'm using will be listed down below, so don't worry about that. So let's go, let's get it started then. Okay. First thing I wanted to talk about was Jiho from Twice. You already know her. Main vocal Jiho. The baddie. From Twice is dating Daniel from 101. RRP 101. But uh, when I first heard it out, when I first heard it, this been heavy, but I just want to catch up because I didn't talk about it. But when I first heard that they was late, and I'm like, really? Really? It was funny, though. I was worried, too, because, you know, everybody know that. Twice are really big in their fandom. It's really big, also. So I was worried about how once this Twice fans react to them dating. But everybody took it well. I just hope it's not no Kai and Jenny situation where... Oh, it's announced that they are dating. Then, next thing you know, they break up. You know? I didn't do a video on Kai and Jenny break up. Just because... I don't I didn't know what I was going to say. Yeah, I'm proud of, I'm happy for them. I'm happy for them because... You know, some K-pop fans are very, um... They're very controlling. Like, one fandom in particular... You already know what I'm saying. I don't want to say that name because they be, they be too much drama. But you already know who I'm talking about. I was really proud of them for saying that they were dating. Well, they didn't even say it. They got exposed. One thing I am, I'm tired of, um, I'm tired of K-pop idols getting exposed. That's basically what it is. They get exposed for dating someone. Why did y'all following them around in the first place? They are regular people. They can sing songs about dating. But as soon as they are in a relationship, it's a problem. That don't make no sense. These don't even like some idols dating. They say y'all can't date because... And then it's a dating ban off some people. Like what? Like God 7 They had a dating ban. Could date now, but... How you gonna tell me you're not can and can't date, sir? I'm the one bringing money to this company. Let's get that straight. So about my girl Sung Young from CLC. Put a picture of her hair. She is a baddie. Period. Um, there's a video going around right now of her basically. Somebody was recording. I think it was like one of them news shows. They was recording her walk off, walk away from getting her pictures taken down the hallway, right? Then you see a staff member open the door, like come through a door, and all you see is him like, like fumbling with with somebody. It could have been her, it could have been somebody else. He could have just been I don't know. It looked like he pushed her aside, and I was like, hold up, I know that's not he's not doing that to my girl who worked real hard, who is the leader of TLC. I'm not even not doing that. He just assaulted her, and that's what everybody's saying. She got assaulted by one of the staff members. Y'all, and I'm going to just say this now. Some of these staff members are evil. And that's on period. You never know what be going on behind the scenes. Some of them is nice. But some of them are evil. They jealous. Staff member that wanted to sit next to Jenna. So she took his... She took Renjin's seat in the car and he had to stay out in the rain. And they tried to cover it up, but you could tell. Staff members are obsessive over the idols also. Like, you need to keep it professional. You you can be a fan in the staff member. Well, you can't be, no. Oh, no, I'm taking your seat. You're just going to have to find a new place because I'm going to be by him. Then the staff members are older. Way older. Then... The idols get paid to do their makeup, fix their style, do their hair, whatever. 
not to obsess over them and try to control them. I saw that video of Sung Young, I was like, skirt, hold up. I know he didn't just do that, because you can tell it's a man. She uh, she's happened to walk past and they say, you know, he fighting something. I don't even know. You can't really see it, but imagine if the camera was zoomed in a little bit more. You would have saw it. I don't know how many idols that we have in the behind the scenes. Like I said, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Some people is good. Some people is bad. But yeah, I hope that isn't the case of her being assaulted. But like, what else could it be? What else? What was happening over there? <laughs> like... <laughs> You y'all know CLC is not one of the bigger groups. They is not like Twice. They is not like Blackpink. They don't got that many. They don't got as much clout. You know. I was surprised people kept talking about it. Like now, all y'all, I didn't know that many people like CLC. Cause we know they slept on. People be sleeping on them. And I know my fellow ch Cherishers. I don't even know Cheshire. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I know y'all upset too. As you should be. And you already know Cube don't care that much about CLC also. Because they, they didn't get their recent, they didn't get a win with me. Even though that song was a banger. They didn't get a win with it. They recently got a war at um a war show. They performed me. Oh, they performed No and Me. Just to look straight from that situation, I'm gonna talk about B.I. from Icon. B.I. from Icon, okay? This is my man, it's B.I. from Icon. I never talk about Icon. I'm not a huge Iconic, but I do like some of their songs, you know? Their main popping songs. Love Scenario. I love Goodbye Road. That's my song. Killing me, of course. Did you get that? Ew. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. Y'all already know what happened, but I'm gonna just say it again. Basically, B.I. said at a point in the group, he felt like he needed to do some drugs. Because he was just under so much stress. Let me all, let me, let me let y'all know. B.I. is like the main producer and composer of Icon. Of course. Everybody in there got talent, but like he the ones that he the one that produced the song, write the song, give the people their verse. You sing this, I want you to go this high, this low, okay? He the one. He wrote love scenario, okay? Everybody love that song. He wrote that song. He's very smart. He's very he's very good at doing what he do. Well, he does. Crazy. YG, after finding out that he said being stressed out from doing all this work, let me tell you this too. YG make his artists do so much work, and I swear they don't really get anything out of it. Of course, fans, they do stuff for the fans, but like, he be working them hard. Like, if this song don't succeed y'all going back in the basement and that's on period that's what he do with black pink even though all black pink songs been succeeding it's just like y'all can only do this because we need to build the anticipation so y'all gonna release this single this year wait another year because the build the anticipation y'all can go on tour for that little minute anticipation build it up then we coming back next year which makes no sense is smart as a businessman, but they don't want to be sitting around not doing nothing. I mean, you train, I don't know how long they train, but you train for some time and you become an idol underneath this company. And they tell you you only get to put out one album a year. Some K pop groups come at every three, four months. Why is y'all coming back once a year? <laughs> I make people think, oh, what y'all think y'all better than us? Because y'all could put out one song and it bang. And we gotta put out multiple, like no. Nah. They released three albums. They did the three to four months thing, you know. And all that he said, he was thinking about doing drugs, cause he under so much pressure. Of course, everybody loves love scenario, scenario. So he had enough pressure to make a song just as good, if not better. He said he think about, he thought about using drugs. It's not like he actually used them. That's what you draw the line 
YG. That's where you draw the line. Sungri. Sungri. I don't know how to say his name. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Over there trying to be a pimp. Him. Big pimping or whatever. He over here being a pimp in the club. Selling underage girls. They didn't put him out. They didn't put him out the group though. What he do? Try to lie. Say nope. That's what upset me and my homegirl. Up, cause this don't make no sense. You draw the line at him thinking about using drugs. Thinking, not even using. He, he didn't even say he used it. He said he just thought about it because he was under so much pressure. You know how people go to drugs and alcohol and stuff like that. Just to get rid of stuff for the moment. You know, it don't last forever. But you got mad because he thought about using it. A grown man, growner than him, literally was over there in the club soliciting prostitutes. But thinking about using drugs is the bigger issue. That don't make no sense. YG morals are just not there. Way more mad that one of my employees at my company is thinking about well, it's sol sol soliciting prostitutes, mainly underage girls. To grown men in the club, then if one of them was thinking about doing drugs, because then it's like, why do you? That's when you need to get them therapy. Like JYP, for example, they said he give the artist therapy just because he knows that's a hard business to be in. And what would you do? You think about doing drugs? Get out of my house! Is oh you soliciting prostitutes? Yeah, bro. Go off, bro. You dragging. And so I didn't have it be, I get some therapy. Because why do you feel like you need to do some drugs? You obviously need some therapy done. I'm not even trying to be shady. I'm not trying to drag nobody. But he basically holding the group together because he wrote the songs that made them pop. But and then he told everybody that B.I. is out the group for that reason basically said he's stepping down um sir you can't just throw a bomb like that then try to say something i'm in the safe house uh-uh sir because everybody was mad like no and i hate the way he managed all these groups like they need to be all he got is his name that's all i, I, I don't if i was the debut if i was a k-op idol and i was a day and i had the choice to debut under him and somebody else I would choose to somebody else, even if they are a smaller company. Because why would you want to be out of him? They would have you come back like once a year. That you really love. Who wants to do that once a year? So yeah, he's stepping down. So I'm like, I mean, I feel like he's for the better. But you never know. It could be like a Donald Trump, Michael Pence, Mike Pence kind of situation. Whereas if Donald Trump was to be, Donald Trump was to not be president anymore, it would be somebody worse than that. It could be a case like that. I mean, I don't know who, I don't know who is taking up YG spot. But obviously, it's somebody he trusts, cause it's either somebody he trusts or son or nephew. That be that petty stuff we be talking about. The K-pop fans do not like. We want our idols to be in a company where. If something like that happened, they won't get turned on. You know. There, if they say, oh, I, I once thought about using drugs in this group because I was so, I was so stressed out. We want them to be able to say stuff like that and not be shamed for it. And when they get some help. And then you never know how Blackpink be feeling too. Like, I know I was talking about how Jenny was being lazy on the stage, but like, if you think about it, you never know when they be going through. And they, uh, that, um, Lee Sumi. Oh, yeah, let me talk about this win-win with the win-win situation. Because this is not okay. So, apparently, win-win is not part of NCT anymore. I swear, this just doesn't make any more, any sense. Like, I'm just, oh, look at all this powder I got on my shirt. Like, I'm just so confused, like. How is he not in there anymore? This don't make no sense. I thought Baby was a part of the franchise, you know? A part of the 
NCT groups without even having NCT in the name. But I'm obviously I was wrong. I just feel like it don't make no sense how women isn't in there anymore. They said everybody wait. I think they said everybody in Wavy not in NCT anymore. But that don't make no sense. Cause ten was in NCT U. It really makes no sense at all. Like I really don't understand. When debuted with NCT 127, he barely got any lines to begin with. Let's start there. He's still barely getting any lines in there in Wavy. So they, I feel like Lee Seaman is just using women for his face, his visuals. Period. He just using him to attract fans because women is cute and everybody like cute. And then it may be a um a super M group like the Avengers of K-pop, and it's gonna be. EXO members and Taemin and NCT members. Um, I I like all the members that's in the group, of course, but nobody asks for this, okay? Nobody asks. I'm pretty sure it's people, do they even want to do that, you know? I mean, especially Young and Mark. EXO been had that little time. And Taemin. I mean, I'm just feeling like, do they really want to do this? Because, like... They were so hard in NCT period. Did y'all even ask, oh, do y'all want to do this? They probably going to say yeah because they were that sunbeams. But still, I feel like this is what I feel like going to happen. They go and put NCT members in the back. Well, because, you know, you can't put Taemin and Kai in the back. You just can't. That's just something you can't do. If you do that, you're going to jail. Period. You're going to jail, period, if you do that, if you do that to them. And you know, they're gonna be, the fans will be mad if Taemin was in the back. Cause then they're like, first of all, Taemin is all of their sunbees. Sunbae. I know you, I know you not doing that. I know you ain't put my man's Taemin in the back. Oh my god. I just realized I do my eyebrows. <laughs> I know you ain't put my man's Taemin in the back. Like, you trying to get smacked real quick. Yeah, they're gonna be like, I know you ain't put my man's Taemin in the back. Taemin, who's who's probably, I don't know if he older than all or not, but he got the most experience. But yeah, they're going to put the NCT members in the back because everybody, we already know that's going to happen because they the youngest. They don't got as much clout as EXO and SHINee. And they still the babies. They, they're the youngest group, you know. I just don't know how it's going to work because Baekhyun is in it. He's the main vocal. Taeyong Mark rappers. Ten is a dancer. Kaya dancer. Taemin dancer and singer. How is this gonna work? I mean, Ten can sing. Some of them can sing, but it's just like some of them better dancing than singing. Known for that singing. Known for that singing, not dancing. Known for that dancing, not singing. So yeah, I just don't know how this is gonna work, cause. So thank you guys so much for watching this K-pop tea. Um. Y'all heard my opinion on everything. Y'all know I dread YG. I don't care about these big corporate, these big company um CEOs. I will drag y'all, period. Because what y'all be doing is not right. Period. Also, um, if you want to see my latest K-pop reaction video, click up there. Also, y'all, we just hit 50 subscribers. I'm so happy. I'm very happy. I'm very proud. I'm like... I didn't know 50 people subscribed. It's not a lot, of course, but still, it's something that made me happy when I saw it. So, y'all better be looking out for that 50k. I said 50k. Look at me <laughs> jumping ahead. My 50 subscribers, y'all better be looking out. <laughs> so, I can do the K-pop and play. So, basically, I don't know a lot of dances, but I'm going to be doing that. For okay, it's say 49 now, but it said 50 like yesterday. It said 50 like yesterday, but whatever. If you round it up, it's 50. But, um, yeah, I'm doing the random play dance, so y'all better be ready. Period. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this K-pop tea. It's been a minute since I did one. It's been a long time. I, just, I know I, I'm very late on all these subjects, but that's why I put it all together in one video. Because I'm not cutting. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Yeah.